So this is the vertebral column of the axial skeleton, and the human vertebral column consists of 33 vertebrae. Um, the very most top one is the atlas, and then sitting uh, below that is the axis. And uh, when you're looking at the bones, these ones that point out or down are the spinous process and the spinous ones, process. Spinous process, and the ones that run. Um, laterally are the transverse process coming across. Um, then there's inner vertebral discs, which you can see at an angle here, which is the blue gel. And the in intervertebral for foramina, which would kind of run almost where the gray pole is yeah. in the back. Uh, the most cranial seven are the cervical vertebrae. And their spinous process points outward. <laughs> Let's see, where am I? The next 12 are the thoracic vertebrae, and their spinous process point downwards. All right, downward. Um, then we get the next five are the lumbar, which is the lower back. And I want to mention that on the thoracic, um, these each have rib facets where the ribs articulate in uh, to the thoracic vertebrae. And then the sacrum are the next five fused vertebrae, and this articulates with the pelvic girdle. And the four caudal vertebrae of the human fuse into a small tailbone called the coccyx. So um, to kind of point some things out on a singular bone, this is a thoracic uh, vertebrae, as you can see as the styloid process points downward. Um, you, we also are supposed to know uh, anterior or superior articulating surfaces which are these top two right here. And we're gonna say, call these superior articulating surfaces. And then the ones on the bottom here are inferior articulating surfaces. And again, this would be thoracic as this points downwards. And then these two bones. Um, that would be atlas and axis. So axis. Axis. Uh, as it has this point that comes up where the atlas sits on top. And this would be the first... Uh, cervical vertebrae? Cervical vertebrae. Now, for all cervical vertebrae, they do have the transverse foramen, the holes in which nerves run through. That's only for the cervical. And come over here. I want to point out... And the lumbar are extremely big. And their styloid processes are very big and this knobby. The spinous, spinous process. Spinous processes are also really big and knobby, and they point outwards. Okay. Is that it? Mm-hmm. All right.